Robert is a rehabilitation robot designed to attend to the early mobilization of patients who are confined to their beds. It is important to initiate rehabilitation as early as day one of a patient's hospitalization, even though the patients may be weak and incapable of getting out of bed on their own. The practical design of Robert means that it can easily be moved from one room to the next. Therefore, the patient can remain in bed and focus on the therapy, thus avoiding the transfer to a training facility or to another bed. Robert is very easy to start up. Just plug it into an ordinary socket outlet. Robert will then perform a safety test, and thus neither patient nor therapist need worry about safety. A brace will be attached to the patient's lower leg. Then Robert will be rolled up to the bedside and positioned by the patient's legs. The foot brake is activated, and Robert will be ready to provide therapy. The therapist directs the robot arm to the brace. The two parts are easily linked up by pressing the robot arm's coupling link onto the brace. The therapist will then push record before performing an individual exercise that is particularly beneficial for this patient. The extent of Robert's pattern of movement is not limited to a set of predefined exercises or directions of movement. When the therapist has demonstrated the exercise, she will press play and Robert, having copied the exercise, will repeat the movement a suitable number of times. Obviously, it is possible to pause the exercise should the patient need a break. Currently, the therapist must perform such exercises manually by repeating activation of the patient's leg into, for instance, flexion, abduction or rotation. Having Robert as her assistant, the therapist will instead have time on her hands to carry out other tasks. Such time could, for instance, be spent talking to the patient or carrying out other patient-related work in the wardroom. Moreover, the physical strain on the therapist will be reduced and thus the risk of work-related muscular pain will be significantly minimized and all the while, the patient will receive optimal physical training. Studies on intensive care patients have demonstrated that the provision of early mobilization will mean that the patient's physical function will have improved when they leave the intensive care unit. It can be concluded that early mobilization is decisive for the optimization of the patient's subsequent development. Early mobilization and very early mobilization contribute to enhanced blood flow and may bring about a reduction in stiff joints, the risk of blood clots, pressure sores of buttocks and heels, further muscular reduction, the risk of pneumonia. Together, the enhancement of the patient's blood flow and the minimization of the risk of complications will mean a reduction in inpatient stay. It will be feasible to treat more patients per bed per month. Robert is on an important mission, namely to upgrade patients' early mobilization, to improve the healthcare staff's working environment, and to achieve increased patient flow.